we talked about last week. I talked about obviously um, splitting the bills, right? Mm. There was something else in that category. All right, right, go on. I want to talk about actually that really winds me up. Mm. Tipping, right? Oh my god! I'm so glad you brought this up, right? I'm glad you're glad. Are you? <laughs> you know why, right? Because when you go to restaurants now, guys, now they put on the receipt mm. how much you should tip as well. Now, have you seen that? Cheeky bastards! I ain't seen. And it's like I've, three, I've, four I've, pounds. They no, say like you've got um, they, they say they say a discretionary um, uh, a discretionary thing has been added to your bill. Exactly. What you like mean? That. They're just already adding it to your bill. Disgraceful. That is no, disgraceful. Like, you've just given our staff a raise. Like, mm. is it? You know, it's anything. Like, I get. You know, I suppose I get more home deliveries than I get. Um, you know, restaurants or whatever. Do you know, who else has loads of home deliveries. Okay. Jason. What? <laughs> <laughs> you said he gets loads of kebabs. No, he, no, that's he goes there and gets them. Oh, right, fair enough, sorry. Yeah. I, walk, um, I walk to the... Get me steps up. Get me steps up. <laughs> you got to burn... <laughs> <laughs> got to burn those right. calories. What I'm saying is, so, right, I always get this awkward scenario, right, when the takeaway man comes, knocks on the door, and I'm there, me, personally, because I'm not... I'm, I, I find tipping awkward. I, I count the exact right change out, and I give mm. him the right change... Dave, because it's just what I, what's awkward. It's not like I'm against so every now and then. So I need a bit of extra money, but it's the amount. Because if you no. tip too little, you feel like they're like, oh, that's shit. But then you don't. Why, yeah. why should I have to pay extra than the advertised price? Why have I got to do maths in my head to figure out? <laughs> oh, know, it's, it's twenty quid for a pizza plus fucking ten times twenty percent minus two. Fucking, you know what I mean? Like. I just want to pay. Just tell me a price, and I'll pay the. Just let me advertise. Advertise the price, right? What if that you've got a twenty pound note, mm. right. and it comes to nineteen fifty? Do you mm. say keep the change? No, the thing is, right? I I just did, like Damien said, it's it's all online now, so it's a lot easier now. You just order well, it, I'm pay sa- for it. I'm saying if it's not, I'm giving a hypothetical scenario. Some places. Uh, I I right. would actually actually probably give the fifty p. I just go if, keep if the change. About, if it's fifty p, then I go. No, but no, this yeah, is... I go keep the change. Like, I don't. Problem, I don't do that awkwardness of waiting for that fifty p to be given to me. And then <laughs> no, he does. No, I've noticed delivery drivers do this. Well. Happened, it happened to me once, right? Well, I went under the change, and he'd yeah. done the thing like when he pretended he had all like loose, a lot of loose mm. change. It was about two. It was about three pound change. I was supposed to get. They take really long. And they take really long, and they pretend like they don't have the change in. Nurse, but they went, No, no, I'll get you the change, and I'm like, Yeah, I'm waiting for my change, please. Yeah, but then I mean, look, if it if it no, but if it's if it's over a certain value, if it's over a certain amount, then you then I mean, that's that's real money. Well, yeah, exactly. Well, I, I mean, whereas you know, money that depends is yeah, a drop in the ocean that you notice. But what I'm mm. saying is, right, I've been in a situation, right, where I've ordered food, right, and it's been like it's come to like 19 pounds 80, right? This happened. So I had 20 pence change, right? And it was like, oh, what do I do? So I went, keep the change. And he just looked at me like with disgust. Like 20 p, uh, you bastard. Because <laughs> it's like I wouldn't. I, you know what? In that situation, I wouldn't even say anything. I'll just give him like the 20 quid and just like say so thank you and then shut. Yeah, but the then door he's like, Bobby, can it out? Probably you're be just, a lot better. You're just shutting the door yeah, on but, him while yeah, he's going. Yeah, but you. No, but you're just saying thank you. Yeah, but, you won't. Yeah, but you're you're you're, make, you're making a situation of it. You're, you're yeah. like it's twenty p. You're like keep the change. You know. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tell your keep kids the change. Me, okay, I'll put your kids through college. Keep the you, change. If you've so. made a big deal of it, you know. <laughs> yeah. Whereas Jason just like you know like just uh, close the door. Yeah, but that's that's mm. rude. That's rude. I'm just. No, saying but you say there. thank you, and then you shut the door, and then he realizes, oh. You don't want your change. All right, then I'll just keep it. Uh, I said, uh, no, I don't. I, you, don't, I said, uh, you don't. You say keep the change. So you make no, yourself. No, I, no I, th- I think the guy. I think the guy just keeping the change is a different dynamic as opposed to keep the change. <laughs> keep the change. I'm saving your work, job. Yeah. Your work is worth uh, twenty. Keep yeah. the change, kid. <laughs> it was awkward because he looked at me like twenty p. 
Oh, you, you bastard. <laughs> yeah, because you made yourself awkward by saying it, that's why. It's just awkward. It's not like, you know, I'm every now and then, and I've been in situations where I've been, oh, yeah, but I just don't like the how much do you tip. I don't like the idea. It's just awkward. Just take it out of the equation. Just take it out of the equation. And whatever you have to do, pay people more money. Don't mm. put the burden onto the customer. We shouldn't have to be fucking adding things up and haggling, negotiating with ourselves how much we mm. should give. But um, I was in a restaurant... Um, how long ago was this? Probably about four months ago. I was in a restaurant, and <clears throat> I I built up quite a bill, um, and it was beyond closing time. So you know they shut the doors, they started to clean up and that type of stuff. Um, and the if I wanted to tip the recommended amount, mm. it would have come to a, approximately twenty something pounds. Mm. Uh, I run up quite a bill. <laughs> um, so seeing as seeing as all the doors were closed, I thought. And this was this was bad of me, you know. It's the the Jew in me. Is I thought. He can say it. He's I ass. thought no. I, I, I could show him the thing. Show him the thing. Quick, quick, right before we get in trouble. It's hey, all right. No, he's all right. <laughs> right. So the Jew in me said, yeah. Tell them take the uh, take the uh, gratuity off, and buy them both a drink. So and what? Well Instead enough. of tipping, like you spent you spent more money. No, instead of tipping him, he just bought him a drink. So I, t- they, they wanted I, I, took, I took the I took the gratuity off, and I bought them like a both both a Bailey's or something right, that, that came to like eight quid. So you know, I saved I saved a few quid. Yeah. So on the tip, not only have they not oh, taken cold there's hard. There's a tip for you guys. Not only did they not take the cold hard cash home, they didn't <laughs> even get the value of the cash in drink. No, exactly. They didn't even get twenty pounds worth of drink. No. So eight, you could have eight just, pounds. I'd rather eight quid. Give me the eight quid. Yeah, give me eight Baileys. quid. I don't fucking Baileys. I don't even oh. drink Baileys, you bastard. Well, apparently, look, <laughs> yeah. apparently you don't only drink water. Hey. <laughs> right? 